brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Uh, I'm calling. I'm, I uh, own a small construction company. Uh, married. My wife's a nurse. We own two homes in uh, in San Jose, and uh, and we're broke. Why are you broke if you're got if you're a nurse and you got a construction company? Because uh, I uh, I don't know how to manage money. Oh, okay. How uh, much debt do you got? Uh, so uh, I have SBA loan for the company, uh, one hundred thirty. I got a HELOC on one of the houses for one hundred fifty. Um, one of the houses I owe seven hundred on, and one I owe uh, six hundred on. Okay. What about the one you live in? The one that I live in, uh, I owe six hundred on. Okay. So you owe seven hundred on plus one hundred and fifty HELOCs, eight fifty. What's the other one worth? The one that I live in? No, the other one. Uh, the other one is worth about two million, between one eight and two two. Okay. And so, if you sold it, you could be uh, debt free. Yes. So why are you hanging on to the investment property? Uh, because for my kids, I imagine, uh, I mean, that's cause I, I don't have a 401k and I kind of figured that was, uh, would be my, my money that I could, you know, give to the kids. Okay. Um, well, and then you call me and you're broke, so this is not working. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm looking for a plan. So basically, you borrowed a HELOC and SBA loan and kept a home mortgage in order to buy an investment property. That's 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 uh, in, that's in essence what has happened, or in order to keep an investment property, to keep from selling it. See, if you had sold it, you wouldn't have the HELOC and you wouldn't have the SBA loan and you wouldn't have the mortgage. And so now you can still sell it and not have all of those things. That's a good start. That's probably where I'm starting. You got? And is that the only debt you've got? Uh, I believe I probably actually, I have, a I probably have 20,000 in, in credit cards. Okay. And, and then we need to sit down and start living on a plan, a budget so that I, you and your wife sitting together with the every dollar app, you go through financial peace university. I'll give you both as my gift. If you'll do it. Okay. Go through the class, sit down, start writing out a plan. So what do you, what do you build with your, uh, your construction business, what kind of buildings do you do? It's actually, we work, I'm, it's a waterproofing company and we work on commercial buildings mostly okay. and apartment buildings, decks and underground mm -hmm. parking garages and podiums and planners. Okay, So you have to, uh, I presume you have to present a detailed plan and a bid to, uh, to, to your customers, don't you? Absolutely. And then you have to execute that detailed plan and bid in order to make a profit and in order to deliver the uh, service as promised. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All we need to do is apply that exact same skill set to your monthly budget. We're going to lay out a plan for where our money's going to go in detail, and we're going to execute the plan. And the two of you, you and your wife, need to agree to that plan before the month begins, just like you and the customer agree to the budget and the schedule of the job when you get the new job, when you're bidding a job. And so building a, building a, you know, doing construction work in detail. Now, some people do it out of their hip pocket, right? But you're doing it professionally. And if you'll apply that exact same mentality to your monthly budget, you tell your money what to do before the month begins and then go do it, you and your wife, then you don't accidentally end up with credit card debt or accidentally go, oh, God, we got to clean up this mess with a HELOC. Because the HELOC was to cover a mess, wasn't it? Actually, it was to build. I pulled it to build in the house. But, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, sh I should have not borrowed the money. Yeah, yeah. So if you're doing that, then you're not doing any more damage and you've got peace and you've got this great income with no payments in the world to prosper by selling the rental. I would sell the rental and get myself on a plan. I can breathe just thinking about selling this thing and being completely debt free with money left over for an emergency fund and then restarting with yeah. this fabulous income in California. Now, if you do that and you don't change your habits, You'll you're going right to be right back, back in a mess again. So the, it's, it's a two part answer. 
you got to change your habits, get on a plan, start executing like you were doing a job with your spouse in agreement. Hang on. Christian will pick up. We'll get you signed up for everything for free. And if y'all will go do it, we'll help you do it. And then you'll be safe to sell the rental. If you sell the rental and keep doing the stupid stuff, you're going to be right back in the hole with no rental to sell. Don't do that. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.